AEAC is made possible by Air Venturi, Hawksport Optics, Diana Air Guns, FX Air Guns, Pro Air Federation, Air Arms, Sports Match Rings UK, H&N Sport Pellets, Air Marksman Air Gun Accessories, and JSB Predator Pellets. And you guys know the best way to thank them. All right, guys, we are here with Cecil Bays, Operations Manager for Hot Sign USA, and today we're going to get you through a bunch of new product to include the jet, to include the new Zada up there, the 62 caliber pile driver, the Factor RC and BP here, yep. and then you have a new mag over here on the Blitz. That, can we cover that as well? Yes, we can. Great, sir. The, uh, the floor is yours. Uh, do you want to trade? And All right. if they're kind of new, start them here at the beginning with we the, can uh, do that. the RC. All right, so the Factor RC, um, you've got, this is really our, um, our competition, um, field target-ish um, gun. This is kind of our entry into it. This is the first one we came out with. Adjustable butt stock, you got vertical adjustment, length to pull. Um, you have an adjustable hammer spring preload. You have a ambidextrous charging handle. You can flip it from side to side. Um, it comes with a single shot tray for field target type shooting. Um, you have an adjust externally adjustable regulator. Nice. And on this one here, you have an adjustable transfer port also. So you have a three position transfer port adjuster. So what I do with this is I shoot 10 meter silhouette with this on power level one. So I'm shooting sub 20 foot pounds. And then I can turn it up to power level two or three. Um, at RMAC last year, I was using this on power level three with the same rig settings and everything in the 100 yard bench rest. And in the, um, uh, the previous year, I was using it in the uh, PMC competition. So you mentioned that, that the Factor RC is designed for field target, but you were shooting it in the 100 yard. So it's perfectly capable for that as well. Yes, it is. And that's, we designed it to be a multi-use rifle. That's why it has all these adjustments. You can set it up for the pellet you're using. You can set it up for the, um, you know, the competition you're shooting or the hunting you're doing. Um, the nice thing is, is you've got a removable carbon fiber bottle. What size is that bottle? This one is 580 cc's. <laughs> it looks it. So you're just over a half liter. Um, but it's got a valve on it, so you can remove it and replace it with it charged. So you can charge an extra cylinder and uh, carry it with you if you want to or whatever. Have it in your bag, your range bag or whatever. Um, and it's very adjustable. You can you know, set it up for what you want to do. You got a nice little pick rail up here. Mm -hmm. Put if a you, bipod on there. You can put a bipod mm -hmm. or put like a saber tactical rail on there if you want to, an ARCA rail or something to put your ARCA bipod or something. So if this is your gun, um, well, I guess what I'm hearing is this is set up for competition between the adjustable hammer spring transfer port and regulator. Mm -hmm. But um, can this also be used, say, for hunting? And oh, definitely, most definitely. Um, I've done a lot of squirrel hunting, small game hunting with it. Um, and you also have an AR style pistol grip, so you can put, you know, a uh, PRS style vertical grip if you want, um, whatever, you know, um, ergo grip, you know, whatever manufacturer, just a commercial AR spec. And same thing with this tube here, this is commercial AR spec, so you can replace this if you have a preferred style of buttstock, mm -hmm. you can replace that with whatever you like. So if this is kind of a do-everything gun, what calibers will you be offering it in then? Uh, this will be 177, 22, and 25 cal. Okay, and then what would the power range be? Um, I mean, you can adjust it down to sub 12 foot pound. Nice. Um, you can adjust it all the way up to about 50, or well, it's 45 foot pounds. In a 25 cal. In a 25 so cal, yeah, you're, with it cranked all the way up. So if you're in the barn and back stop is a concern, you can drop it down to 12, but if you really yep. need to reach out, hundred yards and maybe beyond you can twist it up too. Oh yeah, or if you want to shoot field target with it, keeps you in those power ranges like WFT, your 12 yeah, foot sure. pound, um, hunter class, you're shooting 20 foot pound, mm -hmm. so you can do that. What can you tell us, Hot Sun, about the, the trigger and then also the QE up here and, and okay. then on the business end? So on the trigger, you have a vertically and uh, angle adjustable um, match quattro trigger. Mm -hmm. So you link the pull, trigger brake, um, pull weight, everything's adjustable on it, and you can adjust this to fit your how you pull your trigger. So it's the most comfortable and you can get the most consistency out of it. Okay. Um, this has our QE shroud system, so you got a baffle up here, mm -hmm. and it, it uh, diverts the air back through the, the shroud to 
reduce the report, yeah, and of course this one's kind of tight, but um, you can unscrew this and it's a uh, half 20 thread on the end. Uh -huh. You just take that cap off and you can put on an aftermarket LDC if you want. Nice. Good deal. What's the price point of the factor? So you're looking at about twelve fifty to thirteen hundred dollar MSRP. Okay. And so the RC came first. Yes. And then the BP came. So this is an evolution of this. It is. Well, we were we wanted to do a, a larger caliber. So the BP is available in thirty and thirty five caliber. Aha. Uh -huh. So and this is pushing up to almost one hundred and fifty foot pounds of energy. Wow. So I mean, depending on the projectile you're shooting, if you're shooting pellets, if you're 4475 pellets, um, then it's going to be a little bit less. It's going to be around 100 foot pounds. Okay. Um, but with the slug, um, I fired Mr. Hollow Points out of this, um, a couple other different slugs, and um, 60 grains, it loves them, shooting out to 100 yards and pushing a lot of energy. So, um, who, who, who you have, oh, sorry, go ahead. Um, you have the same adjustment here mm -hmm. for the uh, hammer preload. You have an externally adjustable regulator on this one. Okay. This one doesn't use the transfer port restrictor. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is not an ambidextrous charging handle, but you're a lot more power. Um, and uh, But it has a lot of the same features as the RC. But as you can see, it's a little bit, well, this, the big bore is a little bit, mm -hmm. or about the same length overall. Yeah. But you're looking at a 32 inch barrel on this. Who does your barrels? Uh, we do our own barrels. In Turkey? In, in Turkey, in our factory. Um, it's raw materials in, guns out. Um, the only thing that we don't make in the factory is the carbon fiber box. Okay. And these are rifled and choked barrels, I'm guessing? They are. Well, the 30 and 35 are not choked. Not non-choked. 177 to 25 is choked, and uh, anything larger than that is non-choked. So you're thinking your audience is probably going to use the pellets and the smaller calibers and then non-choke for the slugs and the, and the Right, and the, the non-choke barrels shoot the pellets really well also. So. Okay. Do, they, do they use the same magazine? They use the same magazine. It's the swing load magazine. Mm -hmm. um, same as the, uh, the Blitz, the Hot Sun Blitz. Okay. So you can use the, blitz, the magazines off your Blitz in the same caliber with this or with that, um, either one. Or you can use the, uh, the, new round, the new magazines for the Blitz with either one of these also. Okay. The regulator, the external regulator adjustments look a little different. Are they, are they different? Um, it's the same concept. It's just with the big bore, um, it's a little bit larger regulator. So we just changed the where the adjustment was at, mm -hmm. and also we don't have to have this piece here moving the bottle forward. So it mm -hmm. makes it a little more compact, moves that weight back towards the, your center of gravity. Mm -hmm. Um, trying to make it as stable as possible. It's cool too how you have both the manometers for the tank pressure and the regulator right here. Yeah, the BP. On, you got that one and then that one there for your regulator. So this pressure. is rag and tank pressure on yep. the on the RC. Are they the same similar money? Uh, yeah, they're both run around thirteen hundred MSRP. And uh, same thing uh, as far as the shrouds in the barrel and then the. Yep, and the, the cap here. You unscrew that and just uh, put your. Um, Put your moderator, LDC, whatever you want to call it yeah. on Yeah. Wow, super cool. And this has the Quattro trigger also, same trigger adjustment as the RC. Mm -hmm. um, you adjust your trigger back here, as opposed to adjusting it through the trigger guard on the RC. But okay. For the, the lefty, oh sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. For yeah. the lefties out there, th this one's ambidextrous cocking. Yes, this one is not. This is right hand cocking yep. on the BP. And this one does have another feature, the pistol grip here, you can slide it forward and backwards. So you can adjust it for the size of your hand. Oh. So like, um, this isn't the one that I've been using, but I have mine adjusted all the way back. So that my finger... Oh, you're adjusting your, your hand to the, yes, how long your pointer finger is to the trigger. Exactly. Uh, that's really ingenious. So, so if you have, mm -hmm. you know, shorter fingers, then you can move it forward if it feels more comfortable and you can be more consistency. And that's the whole name of the game. Totally. Um, no matter how good your rifle is, no matter how good your pistol is, you have to be consistent to get consistent accuracy. Totally. I can tell you as a shorter guy with not, you know, Andre the Giant hands, one of the challenges I have is I like to get really square on that trigger blade. Right. And pull straight back and not to the side. And um, I can see that being very useful for, mm -hmm. for a smaller guy like me. Yeah, well, and even for anybody else, you can just get it where you're most comfortable and can be the most consistent. Great. Both have 580 cc bottles. Yes, Both sir. have uh, foster uh, foster fills. Yep. This one's on the bottom here. Um, and what's that? 
This here is the tool for, and it's a little stiff. Um, it's the tool for winding the magazines. Oh. And on the, as you'll see on the uh, the Blitz magazine, mm -hmm. um, this is actually quite useful. Does this have a tool? It comes with one, but it, there isn't a spot to keep it on okay. the. So on again, the, another little nice upgrade evolution mm -hmm. in the uh, in the BP. Cool. Well, um, anything more here before we before yeah, we move on? That pretty much covers these. So let's hit the let's hit the Zada, and certainly the pile driver, and then. Um, We'll jump on the Blitz with the new mag, and then we'll finish up with the, the brand new jet behind okay, us. We can do that. Cool. All right. Thanks, Cease. Okay, so the Zada, is that an is that an all new brake barrel, or is that kind of another evolution model? This is more of an evolution. Um, it's essentially our air tack rifle mm -hmm. um, with a new stock to give it a, a refresh, make it a little bit more comfortable. Um, and I I really like this stock. It feels a lot more comfortable to me. Um, of course, you know, I'm an ex-military guy, so that AR tactical style, but the feel is very good. The trigger position mm -hmm. with the, the pistol grip is really nice. You can get that consistent straight pull, like you were saying. Um, the magazine is just a faux molded in magazine, but it does have um, grip here on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So when you're firing, it gives a good spot to hold the rifle and it gives you a little bit of grip so it doesn't slip around. Which is huge in a brake barrel. Like if we've got some guys and gals here that are new, one of the most important things to shooting a brake barrel is finding that center balance point, kind of in just letting the gun just relax and, uh, and fire there. So that's, uh, that's kind of a neat deal, I like that. Yes, so, and so, you can attach a sling back here um, and you can get one of the ones that wrap around the barrel or whatever, but um, it's, it's uh, Cuts a little bit of weight off of the air tact also. It's uh, almost a pound lighter, about a half a pound lighter. Okay. So, um, and this here's gonna be your, you know, your entry level, $100-ish price point, $109. Oh, so very reasonable. So yeah, and um, you know, it's like our, our old Edge, which we still have the Edge, mm -hmm. but that's an extremely popular gun. It's not a high dollar gun, but it just shoots good. It does the job. It's great for planking or for, um, you know, going out and, uh, doing some small game hunting and this does have our QE technology so it does have baffles mm -hmm. in the uh, the muzzle brake here so it quiets it down and it's a really good little gun and you've got fiber optic sights if you don't want to use the scope and this one's adjustable for windage and elevation it yes it like. is it's a uh, click adjustable for both windage and elevation and it'll come with us that come with the scope yes it comes with a 4 by 32 scope um, it's not you know the greatest scope in the world, but it gets you in the it game. It gets you in the game exactly for a hundred dollars worth. Totally. Um, so, but you can always. It's got. It'll take Picatinny or Weaver rails or uh, mounts, so you can put whatever scope you want on. So. Can you speak to the power plant and uh, and also the barrel and the trigger? Well, the the barrel is a choke barrel made in our factory. Um, it's shrouded in a polymer, so it cuts a little bit of weight. Um, and then the power plant, these are um, coiled metal spring. Coiled spring. Um, which, honestly, I prefer the coiled metal spring. Um, you can tune them a lot better. And they they have more, technically more recoil, but it's more of a predictable recoil. It's not quite as snappy as a Vortex piston or a, a gas piston to me. Okay. Um, but I'm kind of old school that way. Yeah, no, I like the spring too. I'm right there with you. And, and the trigger? The trigger, this is a, um, it's a pull weight and, um, uh, pull link adjustable, but that's about it. It's not our full quattro trigger. Um, if you want to get the quattro trigger, you're going to have to go up to like our Mod 87, our Mod mm -hmm. 95, and that's taking you closer to that 250 to $300 price point. Sure. So this is, I don't want to call it a beginner's gun, but it's it's, it's a, a good entry level. Good entry level gun. Yeah. What calibers? Um, 177, 22, and 25 caliber. And rough, uh, rough uh, foot poundage? Um, you're sitting about 25-ish. So it's a powerful, this is a magnum, an entry-level magnum springer. Yes. Great. All right. Uh, I think I've asked you everything I can think to ask about that one, Cease. Um, do you want to jump on the six, this 62 cal monstrosity over here? Okay. Pile so, driver. So what are you guys doing here? So I've loved the pile driver since it came out. Um, you know, I've been the first one to, to shoot a deer with pretty much all of them or a black bear. Um, but uh, I did get a, a, a nice 10 point this year with this rifle right here. Um, 
This is our 62 caliber, so 0 0.62, 20 gauge is the same diameter. Um, and it's just our same pile driver, 300 bar fill, um, single load port. Um, and we use our 650 grain hollow point or our 700 grain um, solid in these. Okay, so you're making these? Yes, um, our factory in Argentina makes these slugs. They're CNC machine, less than 1% variation in weight and wow. diameter. Wow. So um, all of our slugs are CNC machine for all of our pile drivers. Um, you've got the Quattro trigger, safety's right here, um, adjustable cheek, uh, cheek weld there, and we've got the accessory rails, scope rail on there. Um, the 62 has a slightly shorter barrel than the 45 and the 50 caliber. I was just going to ask you what calibers the pile driver comes in. Yes, so 45, 50, and 62? And 62. See, we're adding 62 this year. Okay. Um, and the 62 has a slightly shorter barrel, um, which is kind of nice. It's a little bit easier to maneuver through the woods. It's only like two inches, but you notice it. And what are the foot pounds on something like that? So that the energy? 62 is putting out a little over 700 foot pounds, it's between seven and 800 foot pounds. All right. And um, then the for 40 max power, you're looking at the 50 cal, which is putting out over 800. Um, and the 45 puts out a little bit over 700, right about 700. So what would be, you know, Cecil's a hunter, if you guys don't know, what, how would you apply those different calibers to hunting? So. If you're going to be taking a little bit longer shots, I'd go with the 45. Shoots a little bit flatter, a little bit lighter weight slug. Um, the uh, the 50 cal's good for, I mean, it's good for any big game in North America. Um, and then the 62, same thing. Um, if I were going after an elk, I'd probably go with the 62, the 50 or the 62 caliber, with a solid, of course. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more mass to get through to get to the vitals. Um, if you shoot the hollow points, they expand so fast, they dump their energy before you get enough penetration. Okay. So, but yeah, they're definitely enough energy to, to um, hunt anything in North America. And I'm guessing that with that kind of release of air, uh, you don't want a regulator in the way of that. No, like no. You would with the factors. No, not at all. You, you can't get enough flow through a regulator. They restrict that airflow so much. Okay. Um, what kind of money are we in here? So this is around $1,200 MSRP. And how many shots are we getting in the in the different cal the three calibers? So you 45, you get five to seven shots. The 50 cal, you get four to five shots, and the 62, you get three to four shots. Okay, and those shots are they like a descending, or are they kind of? They're like descending. Your then... first two shots are going to be extremely consistent with the 62, and then the last shot and the, the last two shots drop off. So you dope for that. You uh, hold over for that. You're you're. There isn't enough difference that you really have to dope unless you're shooting at like 150, oh, 100, 200 yards. Interesting. So if you're inside With, of 100, you don't have to compensate. For not that really. No. Shot. No. That you'll still be within a five-inch circle. Interesting. So super cool. Um, 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 no adjustments here. Would it be necessary? We're just trying to get all the air out the barrel that uh, that we can. Yeah. No. They this you does use our um, our patented. Uh, hammer spring system mm -hmm. it's actually a gas ram not a spring to, okay to, want to talk to that to a fire bit. it so to get the power out of this rifle and consistent power you need a, a really strong spring but the problem with the coiled metal spring is as you charge it it binds up and it, it sits there and collapses and you can only move it so far mm -hmm. but to get the stroke that we needed and the amount of spring pressure what we did was we used a gas piston to make the hammer strike the valve. Interesting, so you're not deforming that coil spring. Right. Uh-huh, and it's a 480cc bottle on this? Yes, uh, and 300 yeah. bar fill. Three, are the are the factors also 300 bar fill? They are 250 bar. So 250 bar, 580cc, mm -hmm. 480cc, 300 bar. Exactly. You're kind of six of one, one half dozen of another yep. type of Awesome, super cool. Well, um, I'm seeing an amazing looking magazine over there on that Blitz. Yeah, well, I've got one right here. Oh, perfect. And I'm going to go grab the Blitz. Okay. Oh, I don't even know what to say, man. That looks like a, um, looks like an avocado clip. Pretty Bana much. Banana clip came to head right away, but it's not shaped like that, is it? No, not quite. Um, so you got in 30 caliber, which is available now, you can get, it has uh, 33 rounds. So it's a little bit more, one round more than twice uh, of the standard magazine, which is 16. That's amazing. So 33 rounds, and you can get 
three of these, maybe four, out of a full fill on the gun. Well, what is the so. cost of the clip if they want to buy it in addition to the gun? Next so the magazine, it, it, um, it, it's a, a secondary um, purchase. It's, it, the gun comes with the right standard s mat or okay. the uh, swing load mat. Gotcha. Excuse me. Um, so these run about fifty dollars. So and is this? This is not a circle, so this must be like a conveyor belt of some kind. Exactly, it's a belt. And as we were talking before, because the which has oh, the yeah. tool like on the factor bullpup. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use one of these, there's more spring tension because the more pellets you add, the more weight you're trying to move. So um, you got to have a little bit stronger spring. So it is highly advised that you use the the tool to wind it. Uh -huh. So as you want. Oh, if you don't let it slip off, of course. So will the will and the, you wind it around? You wind this all the way to the end here. Yeah. And then load your pellets. Once you get the first one in, it'll hold itself, and okay. then you can take the tool off. Wow. So fifty bucks a pop. And will that come with a winding tool, or do you just use the one that comes? You with use the, gun? the one that comes with the gun. Yeah. Um, you can also wind them by hand if you want, mm -hmm. but it's like I said, it's a really stiff spring. It's tough. It's the, the swing load magazines, the ones that come standard with the gun, mm -hmm. are very easy. I usually don't use the tool on them. I just wind them up by, with my fingers. It's quicker for me. So what calibers are you offering the Blitz in? So the Blitz is available in 22, 25, and 30 caliber. Okay, and if you guys are just, you know, not maybe not everybody knows the Blitz, do you just want to give them a quick overview of it? Okay, so the Blitz is a select fire pre-charged pneumatic. So you have a 580cc bottle that's fixed, um, and then you have 250 bar fill. So if you want to, what are the two flip, select? What are the select fire modes? Flip this over. Oh, here. You sure. have right there. That's semi-auto. Flip it forward, and that's full auto. So in full auto, it will dump this 33 round magazine in a second. And you'll have these available for all the calibers. Those are the 30 calibers available right now. Okay. At hotsonusa.com. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, the other calibers are forthcoming. And what's the price point of the Blitz? So the Blitz is about a thousand dollars MSRP. Yeah, you can find it on most of the major websites at about eight hundred dollars. Okay. Good deal. Well, um, unless there's anything more you want to add, Cecil, I think I'm going to get the camera reset up over by the Jets, because that's certainly a very interesting gun. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll wrap it up there. All right, sounds good. Good deal, thanks. This thing is just incredibly cool. What are you calling this, like a, a pistol, pistol carbine? What is this? You know, it's a convertible pistol maybe, I don't know. <laughs> um, this is like one of my favorite products that we came out with. It, we actually launched this um, into the stores in Pyramid Air, Air Gun Depot, Utah Air Guns, all were carrying this. Uh, just before Christmas this year, we kind of, we couldn't help it. We were like, well, we were going to wait. And we we're like, you know what? You know, people are going to want this. So called Jet 1 so. and Jet 2 is what we're calling it. Yes. 1 and 2? 1 and, this is the 1, that's the 2. 1 air cylinder, 2 air cylinder. Okay. Um, so, you've got, as you can see, this one doesn't have the buttstock on it. This one does. Comes with the buttstock. Um, it's adjustable for length of pull and your, um, your cheek weld. You've got um, the 11 millimeter dovetail on top to add an optic, or you have sights. So there's two sets of rear sights on this. When you have it in the carbine configuration, which we put this nice little picture of a carbine. Okay, yeah. So you know which one to use. Mm -hmm. Use that sight there, rear sight there, and then when you're using it as a pistol, you flip up the rear sight. Wow, that's super or slick. you want to put your optic on there, mm -hmm. you can put the sights down, and you put huh. your optic on there. I love that. And they don't get top. in the way. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. The side lever is really nice when it's in pistol configuration. Um, it's nice either way, but it's really nice in pistol configuration. So you've got Foster fill connector on the bottom on the Jet 1. Mm -hmm. On the Jet 2, it's in the front of the bottom cylinder. Okay. You've got your manometer on the front of the cylinder set. Mm -hmm. And um, that's basically the long and short of it. You have a, a trigger that's adjustable for um, pull weight and length of pull. Um, there's not a lot of adjustment on this one, but this is a pre-charged pneumatic crystal that's putting out around 16 foot-pounds of energy in 177, 22, or 25 caliber for under $300.
And so is it the same foot-pounds of energy for all three calibers? It's right in there. They're all pretty similar, yes. Okay. Right. Um, and if I understood you right in the beginning, whether you buy the one or two, they'll both come with this this. Yes, they do. So you can choose how you, your configuration. And it comes with two magazines. I don't have any magazines in them right now. Um, there are pistol S Roto mags. So you've got six rounds in 25 cal, seven rounds per mag in 22 cal, and eight rounds in 177. All right, and you touched on it. Uh, this rail, I think you said it was 11 millimeter, but it's but it doubles also as a, a Picatinny. This one, you you could get a Picatinny on this small section here, but really. I would go with the 11 mil. 11 mil. Yeah. Okay. So what, it's really, really designed for the 11 mil. What are the cubic centimeters of the, the one and two? And so the each cylinder is 40 cc. So 40 cc is 80 cc. Okay. And not, no adjustments on this. No, there's there's no adjustments on this model. Um, in the future versions, there may be, but just okay. the trigger is a little adjustable. Okay. Um, oh. Right, sorry. You do have, and I think you're getting ready to yeah, point that out. Yeah, I saw some threads in here. So there's uh, female threads on the, the muzzle end here mm -hmm. of the shroud, and you can add an adapter and uh, add a, a moderator if you'd like. Um, they are a little bit loud. you got a, a 7.9 inch barrel. Oh, so, sure. Bang. So it's going to have a little bit of a bark to it. So mm -hmm. um, in this, the way it comes, it's not super backyard friendly. It's not stupid loud, but it is a little bit loud. So you do have the option of adding a moderator later if you want to. Um, and see, and oh, go ahead. another thing, really cool feature is on the Jet One, mm -hmm. you can unscrew the air cylinder mm -hmm. and replace it. Now, by that you mean have spares with you in the exactly. field and just mm. on the Jet One. On the Jet One, there's you can see there's a, a pin inside that valve that when you screw it in, it opens up that valve, that pin, mm -hmm. and lets the pressure to the valve. But so, not, not so with the two, not the two on the Jet 2. Is, the Jet 2, you can remove the cylinders when they're not charged, and you can swap them out. And the reason you can do that is, if I don't know if they can see the pictures right there. I'll we take have pictures for them. colored air cylinders for them. So they'll be green, blue, and red. So you can purchase the green, blue, and red air cylinders separately. And when you purchase them, they'll come with this valve. So you can take your Jet 1 and turn it into a Jet 2 if you want. Very cool. And all so you have to do is you pull flexible. out these two screws here. Mm -hmm. There's two set screws underneath. You just loosen those up and slide that valve out, swap in the Jet 2 valve, tighten those down, put this, those two screws back in, Super cool. Now you may have already hit this, and if you have, and I missed it, I'm sorry. But is there an adjustable length to pull on the? Yes, there the is. Cardboard? So there's a button on this side, mm -hmm. and it just slides out, slides back in. Okay. What about the uh, the uh, the comb? I mean the, the comb the, and the comb, butt pad. The comb is adjustable also. So up and down on the up comb. Up and down on the comb. The butt pad itself is a rubber butt pad, but okay. it's just a fixed rubber butt pad. It's okay. vented, but there's not a lot of recoil. Today. No, I imagine not. So um, this is a really fun. Um, one of my favorite things to do is I'll take it in the deer blind or the deer stand with me, and <laughs> it's a great squirrel in here. <laughs> yeah. So, mm -hmm. wow. so yeah, it, it works out great. I used it during this deer season in my blind with me, um, along with the 62 pile driver, and they make a great pair. Do you find yourself going with the uh, the sights for a little red dot or a scope? Like, how, how do you like? To um, see it? It's more for me. I like the red dot. Mm. Uh, the sights work great. But I'm getting a little older, and you know the yeah, me too. transistor, the uh, progressive bifocals, and all that good mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. So um, it's getting a little bit harder for me to see the sights. So I do uh, like using a red dot on it, and that way I can use the red dot in both the pistol and the carbine configuration, and I really don't have to make any much adjustment. All right. And am I seeing? Because I don't have my glasses on either. But is it a windage uh, windage adjustment so on the two have, sites? You have elevation adjustment mm -hmm. on the two sites. Oh, I see it now. Yep. And then the front sight can be adjusted for windage. There's a screw right here. You mm -hmm. loosen that up and you can slide this left and right okay, to so adjust it. There is another way. There's screws on either side of the barrel that hold the barrel in. Mm -hmm. So there are little set screws, grub screws, whatever you want to call them. Allen heads. Uh, that look, I believe that's a two and a half millimeter. And you can loosen one up and then tighten the other one down. And there's a slight adjustment in the barrel that way. Nice. Um, if you really want to fine tune it, make sure you snug them back down, of course. 
This is your Turkish made barrel as well, the choking yes, rifle? Yes, it is. Yep, made in our factory. And in the three calibers, the 177.2225, any idea of shot count? So you're going to get um, two full mags. Okay. Basically. And it um, comes four with the full mag mags and with. Shot yep. And, and it does come with a single shot tray also. Okay. Yes. Sorry. I cut you off. No, that, that's fine. So you'll get four mags out of the double. Do, the double. The, the Jet 2. The Jet 2. And you'll get and the Jet 1. Two mags out of the Jet 1 with the honor fill. Okay. Awesome. And the nice thing else, another nice thing about it is they're extremely hand pump friendly. Oh, yeah. Because you're only so filling small. 40 cc's. Yeah, totally. Uh -huh. So this is a great one. You know, you can just take the hand pump out and fill it up. And I, I want to cock it so bad, but can I do that here yes, at Shot Show? Yes, you can. Oh, and can I squeeze the trigger? Yes. Well, the safety. Uh, you got to put the safety off. That little tag gets in the way. There you go. What do you just drop that down? Drop that down. I like that safety. It's it's very convenient. It's right very there, convenient. right next to the trigger guard. You don't have to put your finger in the trigger guard to um, to turn it on and off. Mm -hmm. See how that works, guys? Get your finger in here, and you just push. This tag wasn't weren't in the way. Push that out of the way. There you yep. go. And the nice thing is, uh, like we were talking about, that the side lever is here. If you want to just swap me guns here yeah. real quick. So the nice thing is, is when you're firing, mm -hmm. you can just keep your hand back here and cycle it. Love it. Mul Real quick. Multiple squirrels. Multiple squirrels down. I like it. This feels. So. Phenomenal. I see. I foresee a lot of people loving this. This is one of those like everyone's got to have one. Oh yeah, and it great truck gun. Oh yeah, and it feels tough. Yeah, it's solid. It's very um, solid. You got and light, very light. Yes, polymer construction for the most of it, and uh, so you don't have nearly the worry about um, corrosion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've coated everything except the cylinder by the looks of it. Yep, I like it. Cease. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure for taking oh, this. I've got one more thing to show you. Oh, we got more? Is, yeah. it, is it a jet? No, it is not. Okay, stand by. So, if you've got your Blitz and you're using the swing load magazines that came with it, yeah, we've got speed loaders now. Okay. They'll work with the factor also. Uh huh. So what you do is you just dump your pellets in there, shake that around, and your pellets fall down. You just, well, first you want to twist this bottom, then okay. put the pellets in or they'll just fall through. Right. You, so you put them through, it captures them kind of, yep. I see, yep. Mm -hmm. And then you just turn each level. And it just drops them in. And it drops them in. And then you turn this top and it'll lock them all in there so you can turn it upside down. And then when you go yeah. to load your magazine. Yeah, how does this interface, how does the speed loader interface with the magazine? You open up the magazine as normal. You set it down on top. Mm -hmm. This is a 30 cal magazine. I don't have a 22 cal. This Otherwise, is a 22 cal, they of course. Fit, yeah. But it just goes in there, just like that. Mm -hmm. And then you just twist it, and the pellets fall in. Wow. So each so, time you open a door, they'll drop through. Right, so you have one full magazine mm -hmm. each for each one. So you twist it, load one magazine, grab your other magazine, turn it, twist, and you just load your magazines like that. So yep. is the speed loader available now? The speed loader is not available yet. It should be available, I believe, the end of April. And how much money are you thinking? You know, I honestly don't have an MSRP on this yet. All good. All good. It's early. It's hot show. Right. So, um, but yeah, we did have that one other thing I wanted to show you. Real quick. Cecil, thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. I'll read them and try to answer them for you. If I don't have an answer, I'll hit up Cecil and and uh, maybe we'll, uh, we'll get that figured out for you. Oh, yes. But thank you. I wish you a great show. You and too. Thanks for thank spending you. so much time with them. Appreciate it. You bet.